All right, we're at the start of a new breeding season, and uh, I thought I'd bring you up to speed on what's going on. This is Bucky. If y'all been watching my videos, he's been around since the start. He'll be six in December, and uh, so I hope he still is doing a good job of breeding there. This is this is one of the does out of my California buck. I don't have him anymore, but uh, anyway, Bucky bred her on the 1st of October. And I already have her box open. And uh, we're going to be setting up heat lamps today. But uh, I'll take you over here on this other side and, and show you what I have going on over here. I have my young buck. I think this is his second breeding season, and uh, he's done good, and he's a good-sized rabbit, and uh, I'm happy with him. There's another doe. She, I think this might be her third season, and she does real well, and I got a new doe over here for my daughter, and uh, we bred her. All of them been bred on the first. We're going to have some Halloween babies. But you see, I kept her box closed because I don't want her to get used to using it for a bathroom. And so anytime you keep stock, you're going to raise them up and use them for breeding. You don't want to have them to have excess to an open box until it's time for them to kindle. These two, they're old does, or they're experienced does, and they know what these boxes are for. So I can leave them open anytime. But uh, I'm going to put nesting material in here for her. I'll probably open the box tomorrow as it gets closer and then add some, uh, some uh, nesting material. I think y'all know I use newspaper and... Uh, I think it's the best nesting material there is. And uh, I've used hay and straw, and I just like newspaper. All right, I set these lamps up under my nesting boxes, and I use a 15 watt bowl. And I don't use the uh, new style because they don't put off much heat. But I have a good supply of these 15 watt. And uh, I keep one extra down here. They don't usually burn out. I've had very few that burned out while I was using them. But uh, I keep one down here just in case. But we'll just clamp this on the bottom. A lot of times I'll clamp it on and then put a screw in the uh, far side there. Just uh, keep it in case I, I think the clamp might fail or something. But well, these are some good clamps, and uh, I hadn't screwed them in a while. But you can see the uh, hole where I've done it before. So uh, let's get this clamped on. All right, I decided to use a shorter clamp on this box because this, this one's one of my shorter ones. And the opening into the box is over here. So I want the light somewhere in the middle, and then they can go back to the corner. If it gets too warm, they can get, get away from the light, or they can move towards it and still be away from the opening in the, in the uh, nesting box. Well, fit on there just like that. And then uh, I'll plug it in. We'll keep the wire anywhere away from the cage because you don't want them chewing on it. You got a light. And that, that's real good for just keeping them warm. Now, I don't usually put a light in there until it gets down in the lower 50s. And, uh, 
it's always worked pretty good. I've had, I've had them had litters when the tents were down in the teens, and every one of them survived. So I like this method. All right. I'm going to set up a couple more. That's good. I get a light set up over here. I might even let her in. I'll let her in in the morning and I'll check on her through the day and make sure she's not going to the bathroom. But, uh, I'll show you something over here on this other dough. When I talk about going to the bathroom, I'm talking about peeing too, you know. But uh, you're gonna get some pellets in there like that, and that's that's normal. But uh, some of these rabbits will come in here and make a mess all the time, so it's all right. And when it gets like this, you can expect that. All right, here's the third one. And like I said, that's my new doe. I'll let her in there tomorrow. And we'll come back and give them some nesting material. See how they do. Now most of you have seen that I use paper for nesting material. And I'll show you for those that hadn't the paper will tear on in one direction and tear straight. If it doesn't tear straight off like that, then uh, you, you're tearing at the wrong fold. So it should be like that. It's straight down. And uh, I uh, tried hay and straw and I keep going back to paper because I like the way the nest holds up. People will say things about using paper, holding moisture and all that, but uh, all I can tell you is you try it and see what it is you like the best. You can't put it in too early, you know, because they'll eat it just like they would hay. But uh, this is 28th day, so I think she's ready. You've seen her. She's a good nest builder. Good. She's a good dough. She'll start gathering that stuff up and take it in there. And uh, within the next few days, she'll be pulling hair. And uh, I'll show you her nest when she candles. Now, another thing, too, it's a good time to check make sure they're getting plenty of water you know these tubes can stop up I don't know if you see that but you're getting plenty of water
And you can come back and add some more paper if you like. But then they'll roll it up and it'll kind of flatten out and you can add some more. They'll take it in there. But uh, it's probably be enough for right now. I'm going to turn the lights on too. You hear the scratching around. I got three does to do this with. What's that, Bucky? Yeah, but make sure they're getting plenty of water. She doesn't seem like she's very interested. Uh huh. Go ahead and come back. I remember her seemed like she did this before too. We'll come back to her. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put it in her nesting box since this is her first time. She may not uh, realize, you know, that she needs to take it in there. So we'll start out in the box, and then uh, we'll see what she does from there. And I hope she doesn't use it for a bathroom. I hope she took when she was bred. And uh, well, we'll just see how she does. Let's go over here and look in the box. And I've kept it closed, you know. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. I've kept it closed. So she wouldn't, uh, use it for a bathroom. And then when I open it up, maybe we'll catch her close enough for time for her to candle that, uh, everything will work out good. See what she's gonna do. She'll be coming in there in a little bit. Might go ahead and put some more paper in there since I'm putting it in the box. None of them started showing that the signs that they're pulling hair, so we uh, a little bit early with the nesting material. Well, I think it'll be all right. That second, though, I don't know. She's 
she didn't take one time. She did that same thing. It just that paper just laid there. I had to clean it out. That one down here. That one all the way down. All right. We'll see what happens later. Just like Motel 6. We'll leave the light on for you.